Hello and welcome back to Mind Muscle Memory. Here we go today for another wonderful episode that brings you some of the methods uh, which will bring you through the Mind Muscle Memory technique here. This is where we can improve ourselves and gain a new place with our muscle control, uh, have responsiveness with our muscles in a autonomic, sometimes reactionary way, which is what we do consistent training for, or we can also uh, go ahead and, and, and have thought in which we wear, how we want to move and how we want to control our body and where we want to make our, our next move. So whether we're reacting to something we've trained on for, uh, for sports or, uh, or whether we're actually having some thought and we're performing a, um, a focus like change of speed on our, on our bike and we want to hold that core pattern and keep our legs in position on that bike, we really got to look at you know what we're doing to make sure that we're avoiding pain, and that's what our main topic is today. Is is what's going on? What's wrong with the, uh, that? We might be getting pain, pain in our muscles or our joints, um, and where where uh, what are some steps we can look at to to make sure that this this changes? All right. So when we talk about this, most of the time we're going to always discuss some of the muscle equalizer technique, the muscle equalizer training and methodology. And that muscle equalizer is is the, the four spheres of movement and how they will get dysfunction in, in compensation or improper strength on one side of the body or the other side of the joint. So sometimes we can have dysfunction where we have, like we've talked about, the right thigh muscle just gets stronger than the left thigh muscle. So that's a, a dysfunction of the muscle equalizer um, training where we have the the right side just pushes harder and has more control than the left quadricep when we're doing say the bicycle so let's let's look at that one one step further what what can we do about that and that's what we want to discuss today the other thing we want to mention is the muscle equalization with the front and back of the, say, the knee. So maybe the quadricep is fine on the right and the left with its strength and its mobility, but the back of the knee, maybe the calf or the hamstring, has a dysfunction, weakness, loss of mobility on that area, and it's going to be up to us to look at you know, evaluating that. You have to evaluate it, look at it, and then make some strides to change that to where you now have the equalized mobility on the front and back of the knee on the right and the left. Because if it's if it's something with the hamstring on the right, the quads are fine. They're, they're doing their movement patterns properly. But your mobility on how your stride is or how your weight distribution is placed on that leg at all times is going to be off because of the back of the leg. So we want to correct that dysfunction, right? We want to correct it. So what we really want to look at here is the uh, muscle equalization and using the muscle movement pattern, the M3 muscle finder. So let's take one look at the muscle finder again. It's a three-step process. When we start doing our focused strength patterns, strength muscle uh, movements, uh, whether it's a leg extension, leg curl, or a squat, or a lunge, we want to make sure that um, we are... Uh, having the proper strength control and we're feeling that we can stretch and flex the muscle on that area. That's the first tip, stretching and flexing the muscle properly. Now it goes to can you stretch and flex that muscle properly for the same amount of repetitions with the same amount of force and, and resistance on there. And then so that that creates this burn, right? So now do you feel the burn with the stretch and flex? So the second tip is do you feel that burn equally on that right and left side. And then the third tip is because you're finishing that work, you're getting that workout to go through, you fin- you, are you getting a proper blood flow? So as you finish and you felt the burn, but is the blood flow happening equally? Are you getting the proper circulation in and out of that muscle? Is the flexibility of it there when it has that blood flow to it, is the mobility and flexibility of it equal on both sides? Okay, so that's the M3 muscle finder. So to, to work through this dysfunction, you're looking at using the muscle equalizer method and using that, uh, that muscle movement equalization to, to test 
And then to stabilize and control each of those muscles, whether it's triceps and biceps or your right shoulder versus your left shoulder or the lower body, like we said, work on those extremities first, right? Work on those extremities because you want to make sure that you have that muscle control. They're, they're easier to understand and focus on when you're doing your movements than, say, sometimes your core. And they can also, if you leave them unequal for too long, they can throw your core balance off because you're trying to push with one side of your core or the other to try to sort of muscle it up. And we've seen this over many, many clients, many years of doing this, so you try to muscle it up by pushing your core one way or the other, and it strains your lower back, it strains your, your thoracic area, your thoracic muscle, the, the mid trapezius area. These here are sometimes your pectoral muscles. So we don't want that to happen. You gotta get those extremities, the, the, um, the wrist and the ankle control, the elbow control and the knee control, those are on those last spheres of movement. And then we can go into that, that shoulders, hips, and then to the core itself, which is the, the main sphere of movement is inside that rib cage connectivity to the hips. Those are the flat bones. So I uh, really want you to be able to highlight this in your workouts, highlight this with your conditioning. It's a process and set some micro goals. So test, right? Don't set one big goal of being able to advance your strength right away. Set some micro goals. Check these, test and check on these knees, check check on your elbows, check on your shoulders, your hips, even your core if you want to. Check on those and then set micro goals to equalize those and, and get those done before you set the large goal of jumping into that whole body strength um, acceleration and the power that you'll get out of your body once you become a muscle equalizer and you feel that muscle control all around the body. So again, thank you so much for joining today, uh, today's episode. Again, I'm Miles Betcher, founder of M3, and uh, we have so many amazing uh, uh, people involved in the program. We hear from the clients all the time. We have great social media sites that you can visit for Mind Muscle Memory. And of course, visit the website for any updates and, uh, and new programs that we may have for you as well. So look forward to uh, seeing on the, hearing from you on the next episode. And, and don't forget to listen to the podcast, The Power of Muscle, and share it to uh, get others to understand where they're going, how to set these micro goals, how to become that muscle equalizer, and push forward and get the power of muscle to get you to exactly where you want to go and your success. Thank you so much. Have a great day.